Jai Hind Sadhguru. I have seen your videos and I heard some of your lectures in which I could make out that uh, you don't believe in boundaries and concept of nations. And uh, we should not kill enemy, we should not… we should kill enmity. I did not say you should either… you should not kill your enemy but you should kill the enmity. I said there are two ways of settling it. Sometimes you kill the enemy but it's less expensive and more beneficial to kill the enmity. Killing the enmity may not be in your hands, this is in the hands of somebody else. Killing the enemy is in your hands. Your business is to kill the enemy if you have to, all right? So, do not mistake these two things. Killing the enmity is somewhere else. But if that is done, then forces could be used in a much different way. All these young men and women could be used in a much different way, which is beneficial for them and for the nation. So, let us not mistake the two. I am not telling the forces, you go and kill enmity. No, you must kill the enemy if it's necessary. And uh, we must understand, the other person also is trying to kill the enemy. We are the enemy for somebody. So tell me, how long will we continue this? Somewhere we have to kill the enmity, isn't it? Somewhere we have to settle our disputes and go about our life. Well, such things have not happened in many hundreds of years, unfortunately. So we think that's the only reality. No, that is not the only reality. There is a possibility, many nations which fought bitter wars, well, you see Europe, World War II is not another eon, all right? It's less than a century. Just eight years ago, they fought as bitterly as any man could fight, all right? As dirty as anybody could fight. But today, they're existing as one economy, almost as one nation, beginning to happen. Problems are there, but beginning to happen. Well, we could also envision something like that for Asia. Well, right now it looks like not a possibility. I don't see that possibility in the next twenty years' time or twenty-five years' time, but I feel one part of the boundaries, one part of the borders can be settled can be settled if political will is there, necessary wisdom and maturity is there, of course, on both sides. It is possible to do it because there is nothing much to lose or gain. Only there is gain for both sides by settling the enmity. But on one side, it's a different issue. That's not going to settle uh, in uh, near future, at least not in the next decade or two, it's not going to settle. Uh, I'm… Maybe I sound pessimistic, lot of people feel that tomorrow morning they can settle it. But I live with reality, I know people's mindset. Until this generation passes, I don't believe it will settle in the other country. What do you think? It's a complex mix of many things. Too many th emotions, too many aspects involved in this. And there are gods fighting in heavens, so they have to stop first. There are many, many levels of layers of fighting happening. This fighting is not going to stop just like that. We could minimize it, we could control it. That's definitely a possibility. About… Uh, <laughs> I am not uh, here to preach the forces, love thy enemy. I, do I look like so foolish? Do I look that stupid? I don't, right? <laughs>